fellow the boy and I am Marwa have been having issues all over in their village and it's now on YouTube. You have been working hand in hand with fellow the boy. You know that his channel is about receiving donations, doing charity, charity, charity. Why didn't you tell him that, hey, fellow the boy, what you are doing on your channel, I'm not happy with it, so don't do it. You never talked about it. You didn't see anything wrong with it until now that both of you have problems. You just came online, came to YouTube just to also tarnish fellow the boy's image. He's your small boy and you should call him in the village, query him. You made him and now you want to destroy him. You fellow the boy, I think that you are a betrayer. The kind of lifestyle you are in is a lifestyle from a person who shouldn't be trusted. You had a problem with someone who made you. Someone who gave you subscribers to reach a thousand and get monetized. Instead of you sitting down with the person to talk to him. You never did that. And fellow the boy. You had a problem with someone just today. The next day, all what people see is you making a video and tagging the person's enemies. What would people say? If you do this to me, I will never trust you. You are not a good friend. You are not a good servant. How can you have a problem with me? And the next day, you go and gang with my enemies. Why should you do that? How can you do that? That is a very bad act. We shouldn't be encouraging this life at all. City. Team no body. Hey, hello. Men down. I'm not going to go down. I'm going to let you go here. Oh my God. I'm the one I'm going to go to the one. Hey, put your wife's right here. I'm going to say now. I'm going to say now. Bagaray, I'm going to cast you. I'm going to say now. 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 We know they see tough. Man no get but man no give up. Still man no lose or man still top up. Man no make perfect but man no fuck up. We no go fuck. Sing ciao, sing ciao, your boy Melo Day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribe and hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. If you're already a subscriber. I salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you. <laughs> you are one of the amazing people and I really appreciate you. Uh, I'm so grateful for the kind of love and support you guys give me on this channel. Hey, I really love you guys, honestly. Like I always say on here, uh, if you are not sensible, if you are not intelligent, if you are not smart, if you are not wise, if you are not open-minded, uh, you cannot be part of this Try family. We always try as much as possible to be truthful without any insult, without any attack. If you are right, we tell you you are right. If you are wrong, we tell you you are wrong. You know, we don't pamper anybody here. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. So that is what we do over here. Now, guys, there's still a case from the Kenyan Tanzania border in our courts, which we still have to address it. This time it's about I am Marwa and fellow the boy. Fellow the boy. Fellow the boy. So this is it. We all know that fellow the boy and I am Marwa have been having issues all over in their village and it's now on youtube so we have to be talking about it so uh i am marwa first first of all so first of all i saw fellow the boy did a video which i reacted to and he was saying that marwa has restricted him from going to mama Ann's house or uh, her project which means that he cannot receive any donation from people and send it to her so he made people aware that he cannot go there. So if they send goods 
or something through him, it would delay. So they should try contact her directly and send anything they want to send to her. Then Marwa also came out and he was also saying something about fellow the boy, which I think everybody must hear so that we discuss it here and see if Marwa is wrong for doing that or he's right for doing that. You understand? Then we chip in something about fellow the boy. Then as you know, I have something to say. We say something about it. Then we condemn whoever we have to condemn. Now let's talk about fellow the boy. I don't even, I don't even, I don't want even to mention his name in this video. The only thing I have a problem with this guy is all his videos is about charity and there is no straight transparency in it. And I've already received complaints from people who sent him money saying, oh, I sent him this, but on camera he gave this. I'll not talk much about this young guy, but all I'll say is if you're doing business with him, kindly let it be you and him me this guy came saying he's he's an orphan he, he had a sad story he wants me to help him have a thousand followers which i did but i've realized his aim was not to build a youtube channel his aim was to see how he can get money from subscribers from my subscribers which i gave him facts is he's he's not a guy who is trying to build a channel he's a guy who's trying to see oh today i have three thousand people what can i get this three thousand do to me in the name of charity in the name of helping others that's not what i i am intending and i don't want people to complain one day and say marwa you know i sent money to your village through this guy and i didn't see it doing something so this is what marwa is saying now look look at this Marwa, fellow the boy came to you for help. You helped him get subscribers to a thousand subscribers. And now maybe he's making money, he's monetizing and making money. You have been working hand in hand with fellow the boy. And you know that his channel is about, you know, receiving donations, doing charity, charity, charity. Why didn't you tell him that, hey, fellow the boy, what you are doing on your channel i'm not happy with it so don't do it you never talked about it you didn't see anything wrong with it until now that both of you have problems fellow the boy came out to say that marwa have rest marwa has restricted me from going to mama aunt's house which i think fellow the boy was not right at that time he should have at least talk to Marwa in private because they are in the same village and definitely they could have solved their problems over there. But he decided to bring it online, which I talked about in my other video because for me, I think he has an agenda for doing that. The reason why I said he has an agenda was he tagged Uncle Mo and David Jr., who we all know they are fighting with Marwa and they are not in good terms. Now, Marwa, you should have told him that what he does on his channel isn't good so he should stop but you never told him you never brought this out until both of you have problems right now that you want to tell us and you want us to believe and you are saying that people are complaining to you that fellow the boy has been receiving monies and he's not transparent with you know the distribution of the money where is the evidence yes you are saying people are complaining to you where is the evidence definitely i know some people will send you messages and you need to prove to us that these are the messages these are the complaints people are making but there is no evidence and you are saying it you also just came online came to youtube just to also tarnish fellow the boy's image this isn't right bro he's your small boy and you should call him in the village call him Query him, tell him what he is doing is not right. But you coming online to say things that you shouldn't say just to tarnish his image isn't the right thing. You made him and now you want to destroy him. I know you could have even said people should go unsubscribe because this is what you have been doing sometimes. But instead of you saying that you are just tarnishing his image, that 
you know, he received money and people are complaining about him and he does charity, charity, charity. And only what he thinks about is getting money from people and those kind of things. You should have told him long time ago, bro. You should have told him long time ago. Now, fellow the boy. Fellow the boy. Fellow the boy. Fellow the boy. How many times have I mentioned fellow the boy's name? Now, I have a problem with this boy. Let's put Marwa's case somewhere. Yes, Marwa has a point. But him bringing it on YouTube is the problem I have with him. Today, I'm supporting him for querying fellow the boy. Because according to him, fellow the boy is not doing something right. And people have been complaining to him, even though we haven't seen the evidence. But if that is true, then we have to talk to fellow the boy. Look, you fellow the boy. For me, I think that you are a betrayer. The kind of lifestyle you are in is a lifestyle from a person who shouldn't be trusted. Why am I saying this? You had a problem with someone who made you. Someone who uh, gave you subscribers to reach a thousand and get monetized. Instead of you sitting down with the person to talk to him. You never did that. Now, you went online to apologize. And this person, I don't know if he accepted or not. That is even after the day you, you made a video. After the day you posted a video and tagged Uncle Mo and uh, David Jr. You understand? Now, guys, let's check what fellow the boy posted. Then we can bash him more. This is what fellow the boy posted. To my boss, I am Marwa. This is a sincere apology. If my actions were wrong towards you in some way, I respect you a lot. You might have been told a lot of bad things about me. But one thing I know for sure is I am not a scammer. Please accept my apology. I am only human. Now, this is a right thing to do for apologizing to him. I know you said it in the video I reacted to, but he didn't listen. He didn't accept it. And now you have gone online to post it, your community to post it. So Marwa, you have to accept this. But I don't think Marwa has accepted it because Marwa... If he feels that you have done something wrong against him, he doesn't bring you closer to him again. He cuts ties with you. Now, let's go on. Fellow the boy, you had a problem with someone just today. And the next day, all we see or all what people see is you making a video and tagging the person's enemies. Let me give a scenario. It's like Russia and Ukraine having a war right now, fighting right now. And China is supporting Russia. That is just an example. Now, the next day, China and Russia have problems. And all you see is China is now supporting uh, uh, Ukraine. China is giving Ukraine donations, giving things to Ukraine, buying gifts and things for Ukrainians, giving them amenities, giving them guns and those kind of things. What would people say? China is a betrayer. China cannot be trusted because they go here and go there. This is the same thing fellow the boy is doing. Yes, people will say that fellow the boy did videos with Uncle Mo or David Jr. For me, I've not seen it, but I've heard people saying it. It doesn't matter. It got to a time when Marwa helped him, he left that uh, 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 side. He left that side where Uncle Mo and David Jr. are. And he went to Marwa's side because he knew that his followers were going to grow at that side, involving himself with Marwa's project. His followers were going to grow. His uh, uh, views were going to get up and he would get a lot of money. Now you had a problem with Marwa, where I would say Marwa is the Egyptian. And Uncle Mo and David Jr. are the Pharisees. <laughs> you had a problem with the Egyptian, which is Marwa. And just the next day, you are buying flowers for Uncle Mo. You are making videos with Uncle Mo and David Jr. You are tagging them. What would people say? 
Follow the boy. For me, in my own opinion, if you do this to me, I will never trust you. You are not a good partner. You are not a good friend. You are not a good servant. Let me say it that way. How can you have a problem with me? And the next day, you go and gang with my, my uh, haters or with my enemies. Because that is what we see online, on YouTube. Why should you do that? How can you do that? Anybody who has such character, who has such traits, is a betrayer and can never be trusted. That is a very bad act. That is a very bad, bad behavior. First of all, you and I, Marwa, should have solved the problems without even bringing it on the internet, on the YouTube space, on the YouTube streets. You both are making me believe that or think that you all want drama. You want the drama to continue. You want clouds. I know fellow the boy, what he did, it's like he going to look for sympathy from uh, uh, David Jr. and Uncle Mo subscribers. They will sympathize with him. Subscribe to his channel. Watch his videos. Like him. You understand? Which is so bad. We shouldn't be encouraging this life at all. Yes, Marwa didn't approach the situation in the best way. But fellow the boy. To me, what you are doing right now is not a good thing. You are a betrayer. You are a Judas. And you must stop what you are doing. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels and anything important. And today, we are striving for loyalty. Don't betray people who helped you. And go join their enemies or their, their, uh, the people he, he or us. He or she is fighting with. That isn't a nice character. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so uh, you become part of the Strive family. Like this video, let it go viral. Leave a comment and make it clean. No insult because if you insult me, I might be tempted to reply you. Your boy Melody, I will see you in the next video. No more. If you know make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said they love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you don't make money, friends, go dog you. Nobody said they love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.